This morning, public health experts say the U.S. may be battling a third wave of the coronavirus. COVID cases are now rising in more rural areas as colder temperatures keep people indoors, where the virus spreads more easily. You cannot say that we're on the road to essentially getting out of this. The next six to 12 weeks are going to be the darkest of the entire pandemic. According to the NBC News count, cases in 38 states and D.C. have increased at least 10 percent in the last two weeks. 30 states have risen 25 percent or more, including New York, prompting authorities to nix a 10,000 person wedding set for today. There is no safe way to do that. Here in Wisconsin, an emergency field hospital is opened at the state fairgrounds as the number of hospitalized COVID patients tripled in the last month, threatening to overwhelm the state's medical facilities. We are in crisis here in Wisconsin. In North Dakota, where early voting begins today, 4% of the population has already contracted the virus, most within the last few weeks. There are only 20 ICU beds left in the entire state. I've never seen anything like this. And over the weekend, New Mexico's governor sounded the alarm, tweeting her state is seeing a 101% spike in COVID hospitalizations. Across the country, experts say COVID fatigue may be to blame. Unfortunately, the virus is not tired of us, and so we have to remain vigilant. But that fatigue means people are now wearing masks as consistently. Uh, people are starting to gather more indoors. And the pass is caught. Still, after weeks of COVID concerns, the NFL played all of its games this weekend after no new cases. And now more regions are reopening, including New Orleans, which has loosened restrictions, allowing outdoor bar service and indoor music. In Florida, a court order struck down Miami-Dade's curfew as businesses struggle to survive. Here to go against the, the county mayor. We understand his precautions, we understand his worries, but our worries is to feed our families. And, and Gabe, these numbers spiking, it's, it's certainly worrying as well. I, it, I mean, what do we know about how fatal this new wave could be in the, in the coming months? Oh, hey there, Craig. As we head into winter, the numbers are extremely sobering. Right now, we're seeing about 700 COVID deaths a day, but researchers at the University of Washington say that the U.S. could see about 2,300 COVID deaths a day by mid-January, Craig. Let's hope they're wrong. All right. Gabe Gutierrez for us there in Milwaukee. Gabe, thank you.